Hi everyone, good morning. So welcome to Alley Cat Storytime. I am author Ali. I'm the author of the Alley Cat series. And we have a very special story time for you all today. It's a crafting story time. So we're actually gonna be doing a really fun craft that has to do with the Alley Cat series. So today we're gonna have a special guest from Splash and Mash. And I just love this company. It is created by a wonderful, special lady named Aisha, and she is a mother of three beautiful children, and she wanted to have a way to foster creativity with her children and allow them to, to tap into their imagination, get messy, and do all things with crafts. And so I'm going to welcome her soon to the show. This company splash and mash you can find them at splash and mash.com and also on all social media platforms they are based out of the united kingdom so that is very special that they will be with us today and i can tell you if you have kids at home you want to tune in because we have a very very fun craft and if you want to do the craft with us all you're going to need is a coloring page. What we have is an Alley Cat coloring page from my website. So if you want to print that out, or if you don't have time to print it out, just go and get a piece of just paper, like a plain white piece of paper, and draw something really, really fun on it. It can be a cat, it can be some flowers. Go get some some regular school glue, some salt, paint, and oh, either paint or food coloring will work. So I am going to welcome Aisha to the show. Let me see if I can get her on here. Well, Hi. hello. How are y'all today? Well, we're great, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. I am so delighted that y'all are joining today. So you guys, are in the United Kingdom, is that correct? Yeah, yeah we're in the UK and oh. we live in the countryside, so it's literally, it's really nice out here, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from the lockdown. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. So uh, thank you, Aisha, for joining us and also your daughter, Ramaya. Hello, Ramaya. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Should I call you Mai Mai since we're friends now? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So how is it over there? Y'all are currently locked down with this whole pandemic. Are y'all out and about yet or still at home? Um, we're allowed out a little bit, but we're still kind of at the, the worst of it still. Um, I think we're on phase one, so we're allowed out a little bit. Um, I think it's like mix of 10 people, I think, not sure. We're still a bit phased because we kind of don't understand what the rules are, but we are a little bit out. But it's been okay. We're learning to bike ride now, so we're just riding around, aren't we, sweetheart? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're on the bike. I love it. I love it. Well, right now especially, people need an outlet for their children, and they need creativity, they need books. And so you are like, the guru for crafting. I just love Splash and Mash. And I love the fact that kids can be creative, they can be messy, and it's all welcomed. Um, why did you start Splash and Mash? Um, I started it because purely for the sensory. Um, we really, really enjoy sensory play, messing around with uh, messy play stuff. And it was just like a great way for them to learn. I felt like my daughter absorbed a lot more information just through playing and understanding things. And also I wanted to make most things quite, quite edible. So yeah, we just we had a mess about. And as she's gotten older, we've got more arty and crafty and we're just enjoying it, especially with lockdown. It's been great. It's been such fun. That is so wonderful. And so you, uh, when you teach a lesson for Splash and Mash, you have different students or, or children that come and they get to just express their creativity with arts and crafts and all kinds of fun stuff. So that is really, yeah, really cool. like There's no wrong way of doing art, you know, it's for you, for you to be as expressive as you want. 
um, and just to enjoy it really, just making a mess. But making a mess sometimes makes a really nice piece. As you can see, we, we do so many pieces on our pages. So um, yeah. it's, fun. it's fun to do, isn't it? I know, and kids should be kids. They should be allowed to, you know, make a mess, get creative, eat cookies. Remind, did you bake those cookies? <laughs> yes. What shape was the cookie? Um, Mickey Mouse and stars and a fox and hearts and a... Yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's well, that is super creative and super fun. So today, you will be helping us create this beautiful artwork, okay? And so I kind of let our viewers know what they needed. Do you want to let them know exactly what we need for this craft? Yeah, um, so we literally, because on your website, it's so lovely, you can get all these lovely printouts. Um, so we just kind of selected one that was our favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Mama really, really loves the ice cream. So we decided to just go with this one. Um, so we just thought, you know what, let's just do some salt art. You may have seen a few people doing a few bits of salt art here and there. And I thought, why not do it as a coloring in? So that's what we're going to do today. So we're literally going to, you can print any of these out, um, any of um, the Alley Cat ones. And yeah, just grab yourself some salt. I've got some salt, um, just normal table salt, um, mm -hmm. some PVA glue or just any kind of glue. Um, and you can also use food coloring. We've got food coloring in here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> loads of food coloring. Oh, wow. And then also normal poster paint or anything like that. We've watered down, pre watered down some already in here. That's so pretty. And a paintbrush. We can use paintbrushes or some q tips. Which I don't know, I think you guys call it swabs. We call it cotton buds. Which one do you want to use? The paintbrushes. The paintbrushes. Okay, so yeah. my mom's going to go with the paintbrushes and I'll probably do the paintbrushes. Ice cream cone. <laughs> so, let's start. so, should we show them how to do it at the start? So, shall I? Should we start? Yeah, we let's them? start. So, what do we start with first? So, first, you're going to obviously grab your picture and I'm just going to go around i'm probably just going to color it like a coloring in so i'm probably just gonna go in with the pv glue okay and i'm just going to do the ice creams and two, two ice cream cones. the lollipops I'm are you are you outlining or just uh, coloring in all the way i'm going to color in so i'm going to probably just color this in okay so I'm just going to color in the lollipops. So I had a big tub of this school glue. We kind of call it school glue over here. And um, I took this little piping bag for frosting and I put it in there because I had this giant jug. So this makes it really easy for kids. We yeah. have a really uh, great glue right there where they can kind of outline and color in very easily. Okay. I love that idea. The fact that you put it in a piping bag is brilliant. We <laughs> love using those anyway. Did you know that cookies are like a brownish orange? I'm gonna do L I'm gonna do her. So you're now coloring the red. Are you coloring her outfit too? Yeah, I've so I've colored her outfit. Okay. I've done her bow. And I've just done her lollipop sticks. Be careful not to put too much as I'm taking mine, so probably going to be a little bit drippy but obviously you would have yours flat yeah i put a lot <laughs> yeah i kind of got a little bit excited with the glue there i did and i have a look there so once you've got your glue down and you're happy with what you've got you would grab your salt and you would just basically just sprinkle some salt over your glue and you want to put a lot okay so all coat over you want to do some I know kids just love doing this. I mean, to be able to use food and incorporate food and arts and crafts, that's so fun. Okay. Um, I ha it's like heavy. Like I have salt on here. I used a lot of glue. That's okay, because literally the salt just absorbs the glue and it will just stay still. Ramaya is really good at that. She loves that. 
Put some more in the bag. Put some more in that bag. Okay. Yeah. She's a good helper. She's really good. A little bit on her arm and then that's it. Oh, we need to do her tail. So we just probably shake that a little bit, make sure that's all covered. Give it a little shake. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. And the salt lift. What's the thing? No, we don't want any salt lift. Yeah. Okay, so it's, a little, it's a little bit gray. Right, so we drop that. Put that, that away. Ah! Oh, oops. <laughs> Right then, so I'm gonna shake mine, give it a little tap on the ground, and then all your bits of salt, all the excess would have just come off. So then you can pour that away into the. Okay, so you take the salt off. I don't know if you can see this. That's kind of weird. It's yeah. Like glitter. Like Ramaya, I'm gonna make me bigger so you can see. Is this right? Like yeah. <laughs> you did a really good job. Really good. I had a lot of glue. You're going to do paint okay. it? Right then. So then you can just basically color it in. You can okay. use whatever color you want. What color are you going to go for? I'm going to go with this. Oh, careful, don't you know that? This yellow one. The yellow brush. Oh, that's yeah. what I did too. So, if you use food coloring, do you use a paintbrush or you just kind of drop you it on there? Anything to drop it on. So, you can use a syringe, you can use a cotton bud, you can use a paintbrush, whatever, whatever is easy for you. We actually oh, don't have any cool. syringes. We normally use the medicine, you know, like the, the medicine Mom? syringes. Yes. yes. No, not the water. Just mm -hmm. this. Any color. What color are you going to go? Green? Yeah. That's it. And then you would just paint her. Look how cool. Good job. We're gonna paint it all with salt. Yeah, we're gonna paint it with it. We're gonna drop it on. This is so much fun. Drip in there, drip in there. Oh, you can wash it here. I want y'all to watch this real quick. So I'm just dropping paint. I mean paint. I'm dropping food coloring on here. Yeah, that's it. They're literally like drops. It's just, and you just need about. Three. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Now I do have some paint. No. So with paint, is there a certain type of paint that you should use? Um, it so we all our paint we buy is water based. Um, okay. And washable paint, which is purely what because of what we do. And if we get it on the floor, carpets, or anything, that's very easy to wash out and and get rid of it. Yeah. Um, so I'd probably go with that, but you can use any paint, obviously not acrylic, but any normal paint, no oil base. But you have to use something that kind of, you can kind of drop on, like the water. Oh, yeah, because it needs water to absorb, so literally that's what the salt's doing, it's just sucking up all the water, and then just leaves you with the colour. And then we just don't rub it too much, that's it. Just drop it on. Wow. Mm -hmm. and and it. We've got a blue lollipop. Uh -huh. We've got a blue one. Oh, just an absorber. That is so cool. Look at this. It's so good. Okay. Even, even the Ramaya, you're doing a really great job. What is your favorite color, Ramaya? Um, pink and blue and yellow. <laughs> and, and red. Red. Even orange. Even orange. I'm not sure, y'all. Like all the colors. All the colors. Look at this red, how it absorbs. Oh, it's messed up. And you could probably add a little bit of water to food coloring to make it go a long way. Yeah, you really could. But it absorbs so easily on here. I'm going to do orange. Big drip dolls I'm a little gonna bit. Do orange and next. Look how little orange. This is so orange. orange ice cream, like. Orange flavor of ice cream. Oh, we love orange flavored ice cream. Yeah. Mm. How good is that? So, I mean, like as you can see, like if you put too much and it, it trails off, it's fine. It will literally just dry. But then it's yeah, it will dry. I'll be do the next one. 
Let's see your one. What color did you do your popsicle? I have green, blue, and yellow, which came out like an orange, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Look, my knife. Oh, yeah. Well, one's a little bit white. Yeah. Yeah. The tummy I, actually needs the shirt. You've just done the arms. It's nice. I love how it's like 3D. So the salt makes it kind of puffy and 3D. Now, does it dry like this? Yeah. So it will dry because obviously you've got the PVA glue on there as well. Um, so then the salt just absorbs it and then it just dries and then that's it. That's your picture. So you can literally just keep going. Um, you can do all sorts of types of shapes with this. You can even write your name, you can write letters. Um, you can do all sorts with this one. Yeah, you like this one, don't we? Yeah. That would be really, really cute. To get a piece of paper and write your name with glue and pour salt on it and then paint it. Yeah, with the food coloring is so nice. And so you can do it with any ages as well, like so from baby to adults, really. Yeah. Babies will obviously there with you syringes. Yeah. She is so good at this. Yeah. She loves this. She does love this, and she's always so careful. I notice that she always wants to kind of stay in the lines and do it as as perfect as she can. It's so lovely to see. Her pride. And then that's it. Once you're done, that's it. You just literally just put it. We have um, a clothes rack. And because I used to hang paintings and stuff on top of my um, radiator. Um, but now we actually have a clothes rack air dryer. So I normally just all put all our pictures in there and just leave it to dry. That is so special. Yeah. I just love this. It's so easy. So all, all you need is glue, salt, paint, or food coloring. A Coloring page or something that you've done yourself, like a little coloring sheet. Oh, let's do my tail. Let's do my tail. Um, and it's just so easy. And all of these things you have at home. So, yeah, nice and easy to do as well. Something to relax as well. I would even let them sit down and do this while you could be sitting on the computer doing some work and they could literally just be doing this because, as you can see, they just. End up it is a bit, a it's time very time. relaxing. Yeah, it's quite relaxing. So it's a make really a great break from technology. Oh yeah, I know how to make a tan. I love this one. I know how to make a tan color. You use a tan color. You uh, can put another color in that one. But I think she's done. That she's complete. Her bow's done. Her ice creams are done. Look, and her clothes are done. So that I think you finished, Mama. No, no, but. You want to do the stick? Okay, yeah. go and choose a colour and then pop that. <laughs> She's a professional. So this is really great. And I love all of your activities that you do with Splash and Mash. They are kind of like a do-it-yourself type of activities where things you have at home that you don't have to go and buy anything yeah. special. Um, and you you really foster their creativity and their imagination. And I just I love what you're doing. You have social media where people can see all of your wonderful projects. You're on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, we're on Instagram at Slash and Mash. Um, and we've um, recently done a YouTube channel. So all of our um, designs and crafts and things like that, how to make, we've just popped those on the YouTube channel as well. So people can just go ahead and follow and just get some crafting ideas and tips on there if they like. That is wonderful. So for those of you who are viewing this, please go to social media and YouTube and find Splash and Math because there are so many wonderful activities for children of all ages to do. I mean, you could see this. Is, he is having so much fun. Yeah, she's loved this one. She absolutely loves this one. Yeah, I'm playing some more. Ramaya, do you like the Alley Cat books? Yeah, and I just need to put some water on it. No more water because you don't want to make it too watery. And then we're going to let mm -hmm. it dry. So that's it. We've got all the stop, colours on there stop, now. Stop, stop, stop. We tell, which one is your favourite book? Yeah. Which one's our favourite? Um, the, the, the ice cream one. This is our favourite book. Yeah. This is why we got... Uh, oopsie, sit down. This is 
this is why we chose the ice cream. Oh, that is so wonderful. I know. I love dessert. I hope that you have dessert like every single day. Do you have dessert all the time? Too much dessert. How much dessert do you have? Um, one and two. We keep making cupcakes. So I think by the mm. end of this uh, lockdown, I'm going to be putting on a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, I know. We call it the quarantine 15. So. <laughs> We've been riding bikes a lot, so that's good. But yeah, that's really good. It's so good to just be more, a bit more healthier and to do more. I think I wish I did more walking. I don't think I do enough walking, but I suppose with her, she just gets so tired, and especially you all lugging their bike around, then they just say they don't want to carry it, and then you have to carry it. So I'm ready to go home now. Yes. Yeah. So, what's the weather like over there right now in the UK? The weather. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really lovely. I think we had 24 we were at. Um, it's been lovely hot days, really, really nice. It's literally barbecue weather. Um, mm. It's been lovely. We haven't had much rain, and normally we're, we're renowned for rain, but we haven't had much. Wow. What's it like out there? So we're in Louisiana over here, and it's really hot. So we're at like 80, 90 degrees. Wow. Um, yeah, so we're really hot. Um, we're planting a garden, so we have lots of sunlight for that. We do have a lot of rain coming this week, but we spend a lot of time outside. We swim a lot. We go to the lake. We do bike rides. We plant our garden. Uh, so just finding all of these simple, fun things to do, you know, to pass the time. Whoa. Wow. Ramaya, are you watching a lot of movies right now? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite movie? Yeah. What's your favorite movie at the moment? Um, I'm not sure, but there's so many. We literally just got the, you know, the Disney. Everyone's talking about Disney now. Yeah. So she, she's been watching Disney over Disney. Moana! Oh. Moana. Oh. What's this song from Moana? Isn't there a really nice song from Moana? Yeah. Do you know it? Yeah. Can you sing it for us? Yeah. Okay. I want to be a big daughter, little thing that's in the water, the sea and sun, the sky. That's so beautiful! Yay! You should sing it all the time. I bet she sings while she does crafting. She does. She loves singing, don't you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. This was such a special craft time. Thanks for joining all the way from the UK. Yeah, I thank you so much for having us. It's been such, such a lovely time doing this crafting. We absolutely love that. And then, don't we? And then. No, oh, she's finished. Oh, okay. I want to see the finished. I want to see the finished project. Overly watered it now, like mm -hmm. OPT, too much water. This is what happens when you put too much water. It's but so beautiful, like though. Oh, that's beautiful. But like I say, it will dry and you just literally pop it up in your radiator. Uh, you say too much water. Look how mine came out. <laughs> I <put> too much <laughs> glue. <laughs> but oh, it's still so I also it's put on a white. It also mm -hmm. put on, also put on a Plain white that has no, that no salt. <laughs> I know, I need more salt. Huh? I have some more, so I'll just put this on top and it'll dry. But I love how it's like 3D and then you can hang it up. It's so yeah. super cool. I <laughs> love 3D. Absolutely love 3D. Can you say bye bye then? Bye. Bye. Thank you for being an Alicat fan. <laughs> You're welcome. That's so sweet. Yeah. Well, Aisha, thank you so much for joining me. I am so glad we finally got to meet face-to-face, -face, virtually. This has been so much fun. For those of you out there, go check out Splash and Mash. She has some wonderful activities. I am always so inspired by everything you do. Thank you. That means the world to me. All right. Well, y'all have a great evening. I know it's evening over there now. Or it's evening now. It's literally dinner time, bath, and bed. Okay. Well, we're <laughs> lunch. And do crafts. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.